Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and I have something really cool here for you guys today, a uh, free demo. Um, so if you're interested, head on over to GSHelper.com and pick it up. Um, but here's the story, I love making word games and I've been waiting for tables for a really long time. Um, and then when tables came, I was a little upset because we couldn't search a table. Um, and I guess I just didn't really think of it hard enough. Um, but there was actually a way for me to do this without tables. Um, so basically, <clears throat> I want to make a word game, and when the user enters letters, I want to check to see if the word they entered is an actual word. Um, so to, in order to do that, we need to check it against, you know, a dictionary of 60,000 words. Um, and as you can imagine, that's a lot of work. Um, so, you know, our hope was that we'd have a table with 60,000 words, and we can say, you know, if word is in the table, it's a word. Um, but we can't do that. No one knows if it's, we're going to be able to do that in the next release or not. So um, I was thinking tonight, you know, how can I do it? And then I remembered uh, a trick that was, was done with, um, you know, kind of like a mock-up array. And I'm like, well, why can't we do it this way? And it turns out we can. So I'm going to show you right now. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead here. I'm just going to type in a word. Uh, let's go bubble. Done. It's green. And that means it's a word. Let's go ahead and type in a word that's not a word. Red, not a word. Um, try again. Future, that's a word. Um, blue, that's a word. L-U-I-E, let's try that one. No, not a word. Um, so as you can see, it's very quick, very smooth, um, and it's checking against 60,000 words. Well, actually, 58,000 words. Um, so a lot, a lot of words. Uh, S-U-P-P-O-R-T. That's a word. Here, let's see if this is a word. Game salad. That, unfortunately, is not a word, although it should be. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the, you know, the magic behind this. I'm going to go in here. Now, let me start with, um, I needed 58 attributes. And um, I start, I did them all. I actually had to do this project twice. I did them all in the game section. But I found the game salad creator slow down every time I wanted to add a new attribute later because it had so much information here. So I scrapped it and I spent another few hours redoing the project. And this time I put them inside of an actor. So now they're actor attributes. And I have 58 of those attributes. And now you're saying, well, T-shirt booth, 58 attributes, how do you have, you know, 60,000 words? And that's because every single one of these attributes contains a thousand words. I'm going to double click on it. And as you'll see, when I press the arrow down, you'll see all the different words with inside this one attribute. Um, there was a limit. I think it was like 1,400 words or something. I, I initially was doing it like 2,000 words, and it wasn't getting all the words. So I found a decent number of 1,000 with a way it kept all the words. Um, so as you see, 1,000 words in every single one of these attributes. And in front of the word is an exclamation mark, and at the end of the word is an exclamation mark. Um, and that is... Um, so that way when it's checking for a word, let's say you were type in A-A-R-D. Well, that's not a word. Um, but if it didn't have these exclamation marks, when it looked for um, if, you know, the word contains inside this attribute, well, if it contains A-A-R-D, th that would be a word because th that does contain it. Um, so we use these exclamation marks in the front and the back. So when it's searching for the word, it's searching for exclamation mark, A-A-R-D exclamation mark. And which in that case is not in this, in any of these attributes, which means it's not a word. So it's very important you keep the exclamation marks. Very, 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 very important. Um, and so once I had all that work done, uh, which was a lot of work, I made a simple rule. Um, I have a rule here with... 58 conditions, one for every attribute. And it basically says if attribute one contains exclamation mark, game check word, exclamation mark, um, then it's a word. And if it doesn't contain it, it's not a word. And I have it checking every single one of those attributes. So I have the when any is. So if any one of these attributes contain that word, 
it sets game dot is it a word to one otherwise to zero um, and so if it's one that's basically all you need for your game if it, um, you just keep checking that if that attributes a one boom you're good to go if it's a zero eh, try again um, right here is the keyboard rule I'm gonna recommend that you don't use the keyboard and I'm gonna tell you why in the preview mode it works perfectly um, hit here and type in a word um, now you'll see here that the G is a lowercase g that is awesome unfortunately on the device um, the a Apple automatically capitalizes the first letter and the the uh, the array the um, the attributes are all case sensitive so on the device if you search for golf with a capital G it's gonna come back as not a word because it can't find a word in that dic in, in our dictionary that's capitalized at the beginning so what I recommend is in your game you use um, your own buttons so an A B C D E F G button um, and then you just keep adding those letters to the game dot check word and then have it check for the word um, so that's very important because uh, on the device it capitalizes the first letter which will not let it work you'll have to actually backspace tell it not to capitalize um, and then type in your word and then it will work um, so that's very important to know um, but again uh, this works awesomely uh, money boom that's a word let's see M O N I E for money <laughs> that's not a word um, so it's pretty cool and I'm sure you could do a ton of stuff with this um, performance on the iPhone 4s is 66 uh, 63 frames per second uh, it's perfect when it does check for a word it drops to about 10 frames per second but only for like a millisecond like one tenth of a second it's so like boom it's done um, so you don't have to worry about it, especially making a word game. There's not, there's no, there's no, you know, physics going on or anything. So you'll not, you won't even see the stutter. Um, and, and like I say, it's for like a millisecond. It's so quick. Um, and you can do some testing, but um, it's amazing. So head on over to gshelper.com, download this file absolutely free, and then please, please, please post in the forums under this uh, let me know what you think because I mean the whole thing that drives me to make these demos is to um, you know have fun helping people so you know let me know that you liked it and show me what you did with it I really want to know um, and, and, and you know the more it's bumped up the more other people can find this and also download it so um, help me out guys and I'll keep helping you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video